Hi, my name is Kostas Tsanakakis and before we start, I would like to introduce myself. I graduated as a civil engineer from the University of Hannover in Germany and in 2007 I got a Master Executive MBA degree from the Athens University of Economics and Business. I have over 30 years of experience in the railway sector, including 8 years in director positions at Greek Railways Organization, where I worked for 27 years. Between 2006 and 2013, I was the head of the Railway Systems Directorate. In 2013 and 2014, I worked for the Oman Rail Company for the development of the Omani National Railway Network. Currently, I am working as Senior Railway Expert at the Ministry of Transport and Communications in Oman. This course is for beginners to understand the principles of planning train movements. So, what is a timetable? How is the circulation of trains planned and graphically presented? The timetable is a graph providing a visual representation of the planned movement of trains on certain railway routes. Next, I introduce the time-space diagram that graph graphically represents the train movements. On one axis, the time is displayed and the other axis represents the space. Each line in the time-space diagram represents a train which is indicated by the number next to the line. The shape of the line corresponds to the train type, train type, passenger or freight train, as also the train category, high-speed train, conventional, commuter train, and so on. The railway stations are presented in the vertical axis. The distance between then corresponds to the real kilometer distance. The horizontal axis gives the time period here from 10 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The time-space diagram is explained in the following example. The graph is presenting a line section with uh, six railway stations and five blocks that are, in this example, the sections between the railway stations. Let us discuss the timetable on this graph that shows the circulation of five trains. We have the two axes, the horizontal axis presenting the time period, the vertical axis presenting the railway stations, as discussed before. Train number 52 departs from railway station A at 10.20 and arrives at railway station F, the final destination, at 15.50 after a journey of five and a half hours. It is a non-stop train that doesn't stop at intermediate stations. Train number 54 departs at 13.50 and arrives at the final destination at 16.40, after a journey of 2 hours and 50 minutes. It is also a non-stop train. It is faster than previous train. The steeper gradient is indicating this. Train number 51 is running in the opposite direction. It departs from railway station F at 9.50 in the morning and arrives at railway station A its final destination at 12.50 after a journey of three hours. It is the non-stop train. Train number 1303 is a freight train that departs at 11.45 in the morning and arrives at the final destination at 16.15. It stops at railway station D for more than one hour. Finally, Train number 55 is a passenger, passenger train that departs at 12.30 and arrives at the final destination at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
it stops at railway station D for about 20 minutes. Next, we will discuss in more detail the circulation of each one of the trains. We start with the route of train 52. The train departs, or better is planned to depart from railway station A at 10.20 and without stopping it continues to the final destination, that is railway station F, where it is planned to arrive at 15.50. The graph shows also the time the train is passing through all railway stations. An example, at 13.40 it passes without stopping at railway station D. Train number 52 is slower than train number 54 on the same route. It needs more time to travel between stations A and F. The steeper gradient of train 54 is indicating that 54 is a faster train. Both trains are non-stop trains as they do not stop at, at, at intermediate stations. Trains number 51 and 52 meet between stations B and C. As trains meet on the route between the two stations, we recognize that this line section is a double track, so they have not to meet in a railway station in order one train to pass the other. Trains number 54 and 1303 meet at station C. Both trains pass through different tracks of the section C. The figure on the left is presenting the layout of the railway station, which has many tracks. Both trains are passing without stopping through different tracks. Train number 52, 52 meets train number 55 and 1303 at section D. Train number 52 is a non-stop train. Trains number 1303 and 55 have to wait until train number 52 passes because there is the track between railway station C and D, a single track. We can see again the planned route of train 52. Train number 1303 has lower priority than train number 55, so it has to wait at station D, not only for train number 52 to pass, but until train number 55 reaches station C, and so to free the section D to C. Then. Train 1303 can continue. So, we can uh, see now the circulation of all trains as planned and presented on our timetable. Train number 52 departs from railway station A at 10.20 and arrives at final destination at 15.50 after a journey of five and a half hours, it is a non-stop train. Train number 51 is running in the opposite direction. It departs from railway station F at 9.50 in the morning and arrives at final destination at 12.50 after a journey of three hours. It is a non-stop train. Train number 1303 is a freight train that departs at 11.45 in the morning it stops at railway station D for more than one hour for trains 55 and 52 to pass through. Train number 55 is a passenger train that departs at 12.30 and arrives at final destination at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It stops at railway, at railway station D for about 20 minutes in order train 52 to pass through. 
train 1303 continues after train 55 arrived at railway station C, so section between stations D and C is free. It arrives at final destination at 1615. Finally, train number 54 departs at, rail at uh, 1350 and arrives at final destination at 1640 after a journey of 2 hours and 50 minutes. It is also a non-stop train. It is the fastest train. The steepest gradient is indeed catering this. I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to invite you to visit my website railhow.com where you can download this presentation and find a lot of resources related to the railway, to management and leadership.